Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick again from the Paper Weapon Studios and today I'm going to be showing you guys my M4 right here, M4 assault rifle. Pretty sweet. First time I've actually included a sling on a gun. It actually looks its not too bad. It's nice. And you can see here that before I start the video I'll tell you guys that I decided to use an M16 uh, Vietnam era kind of magazine right here just because I could and I dropped a bullet out of there because I pulled the bullets in there now. They work pretty well. So anyway, just before we get started, it's not an M4 mag, it's a Vietnam M16 mag. I just thought it looked a little cooler. Right? No, I don't know, that's just me. But anyway, to move on to the gun's cool stuff, you can see that the uh, actual bolt action for this gun actually is back here where it should be. It comes back, and then you can see that the dust cover actually works. Boom, right there. And so it actually cycles back and forth, you can see that. So just like any of my other videos, trigger, of course, just a little piece of paper, it doesn't work. Handle, looks pretty good and uh, I didn't get, have any time to make it like ergonomic or anything like that or not that I didn't have time just you know didn't didn't do it anyway but the crane stock looks very nice I think it's probably probably the best stock I've ever made it looks really nice and uh, you can see that the little sling mount here looks pretty cool pretty realistic and the holes in the crane stock are where they should be this thing doesn't actually work but you know let's say in theory it does work it actually does slide back and forth because it's just basically a tube on tube thing going on there so basically that's all it is and you can adjust it to like I like it like just about right there but you can do it any way you want to once I do make the tutorial and I promise I will so you can see to the sights here it's pretty much like a traditional M4 sight if I can get it sighted in there you can kind of see through it I don't know but like the front sight it should be a little like tighter together but uh, you know it, it does look pretty good for what it is the rear sight it actually was kind of a chore trying to get that in there taped in there really nice to make it just like a little bit of a, a hole right there but anyway the carrying handle is actually quite strong you can carry it you know do whatever you want with it just like that and it, they were really smart when they made the M4 and the M16 because back in Vietnam not everyone had a sling like this so they actually made carrying handle integrated with the rear sight which was a smart idea and I also like the fact that the foregrip here, it's a little longer than it probably should be on an M4, but I made it out of a piece of paper. You can see there's a little tore up piece of paper, but like the shorter way, it's pretty much like, well, I did make it exactly that long, but I just thought it was easier than to make it look crappy with the whole cutoff ends and everything when it wouldn't match up exactly. So I thought this was a better look for it. You can see that it's sealed up on the front here. So it actually does look really nice. The flash hider looks really, really nice, actually. The nice, uh, the edges are all even and it looks it looks nice they're actually nice and circular so it doesn't look all jagged or anything which is uh, very very good I think and then you can see that the magwell looks basically pretty realistic flip up the dust cover again here you can see that it's, it doesn't actually go inside of the gun but it's just kind of like taped around here but it does it does do its job it looks really nice and then you can see the decocking mechanism of course it doesn't work because it does there's no real internals in the gun but you know just for just for show it's there and then the magazine release of course, it doesn't do anything, but you can pretend that it does however you want. So, anyway, the blow tube is actually right here. It's uh, integrated into the barrel, so you don't have to pull out a blow tube or anything like that. And also, the sling is pretty uh, pretty sturdy, too. I'm holding it by the sling, and nothing's going to come out of here. So, overall, I give this gun a 9 out of 10 for sturdiness on a paper gun level. So, let me pick up this bullet I dropped and I'll show you guys how it fires. And I'm going to attempt to move the computer so you guys can see how I'm shooting it. All right. And it actually has a little like, a little computer thing on it. So you know, I'm probably butchered that name right there. So, actually I think I'm going to have to pull here. Okay. So. I know it's probably not the best thing to do, but I'm probably going to aim for the picture of my family right there. Don't hate on me for that, Mom. Anyway, okay, you can probably see the barrel. I hope you can. So I'm going to be aiming right for that. Not bad. All right. I think I hit my sister there. Okay, great. Okay. So, that was it. And I'm going to show you guys one more time right here and my most in the gun video should be uploaded already it should be on there so go check it out if you see this one first and uh, so then again the whole gun 
right here. And then I figured out that you can actually make custom thumbnails. So the one where it's like, you know, like that, that's actually not in the video. I would get extremely lucky if that was one of my thumbnails, but no. Um, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, here's the gun again. I'm going to flip it around to the other side so you can actually see another feature of it. The selector switch. Wow, look at that. I think it moves. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. And of course, it doesn't actually work, but it's there. Anyway, magazine, hold the bullets, all that good stuff. So I get, I hope you guys enjoyed this gun. It's not terribly hard to make. I think making a tutorial will probably be around a 30 minute edited tutorial. Basically all it is, it's still all tubes, just tubes wrapped around this, covered in paper. You can see that. If you look at it right here, you can see kind of like the tubes just circled around, around one main tube, and then um, basically just four tubes right here, and then obviously um, the barrel has the uh, um, bolt in it, so I mean clearly uh, it's pretty easy, just tubes within tubes and more tubes, and then you just make the crane stock, basically how it looks, just two pieces of paper right here triangular shape. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. It just looks cool in my opinion. So anyway, here it is again, and I hope to get home soon, even though I know what time I'm going to get home. I really wish that I would have get home. God, I wish I will get home sooner. It'll be during Thanksgiving break, so I think that's going to be in about three weeks or so, maybe a little less. But anyway, look forward to that, and also look forward to the MG42, which I'm very excited to show you guys. I made it while I was home this last weekend. It's really huge, and I'm really excited. So anyway, have a good day, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out, YouTube.